Okay, we're trying to figure out what's going on with this thing so tight. So I was thinking I was going to have to re or line ring this bushing, but it's fairly loose. But I was looking at it real close, and you can see right here on the very top there, the chamfer. It's real shiny. It's digging in right there. You can see that mark all the way around. It's hitting on something. Now look over here, and you can see just a very shiny mark there right there in the very corner. Kind of shiny right there on that edge right there, but I don't feel a high spot on the shaft. But it's something going on right there. So here, let me measure with the mic and see if the mic catches it. I'm thinking maybe there's a bur uh, the shaft is not ground all the way across. Be my guess, but problem is getting it. I'm ready to measure it. Can't get in there enough to really measure it. It's measuring 12 all the way across. See if we can catch it with a the caliper then. I don't think we're going to be able to catch anything because it's too close to the case. 62. Doesn't appear to have a lip there. So I don't know if that was there before and we just didn't notice it. Or what? You can see it looks shiny. Yeah. But I don't see anything it's gonna hit on. The nut doesn't appear to have anything on it. So what's the highest on that? Yeah, I think we've got tons of clearance in that nut. See the how far the bushing is in there? Yeah. You're straight as across with how far the nut sticks up, almost nothing. So we're not bottom yeah. out against the nut. There's no way. So I'm not sure what that is. So we'll go ahead and put a felt tip mark on this. Right there. Put it back together. See if it, uh, it cuts it. See if the felt tip disappears. This time we'll put screws on it. So it might might be uh, affecting it a little bit. If there's any binding the cover because it's not flat, that'll bind up that bushing if it's real close. Well, it'd be like Harley. Put 2,000 miles on it to break in on something. <laughs> That's part of the break-in process? Yeah, break it in. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't fit. Just drive slow. Stop frequently. And it breaks in before you board, before it actually breaks. At least that's the game plan, right? Yep. All right. Let's see what happens here. Cam's still loose, and we know it's not that. And the breather had in play. We checked out video shut off last time. Appears to be a little stuck. That's a little bit more dragon as you like. Does it look like it's dragon? Yep. And I'm sure 100 RPM it'll free up. Or it'll stick. One or the other. Yeah, it's, that's just fine. People like them nice and snug, so they'll break in, get a lot of miles out of it.
Nice. That's what the theory was. I have different theories. I like it to turn over nice and free so I can go fast. Yep. Right from the start. Get to it. And it appears the mark is still there. Yeah, that must be an old. That must be when they cut the bush and they must have hit it with a reamer on the outside or something. You can see the chamfer still in there. So I'll go back to my original theory there's a misalignment. Clean this cover and what the crank is. See, it turns nice now, see? The crank's spinning nice and straight, see? So you know it's not that. Alright. So that means I get to go do a line reaming job. Even though it looks good, it's something's not right. All right, I'm going to do a line reaming job, and I'll be back. And you're taking it. All right, back trying to figure out the problem is on this thing while it's sticking. So it looks like I found the problem. So right now it's. Uh, fairly freely here. I don't have the cam in here right now, but I've got the pinion shafts where the problem is at. So, this here is a Midwest cam cover, and this is a Mid-USA cam cover. Even though they look like they're similar covers, from the outside they are different. They have different bushings and stuff in them. And here's a very bright yellow bushing. This has a more bronze color bushing. So it is a different manufacturer of parts. But whatever the problem is, the alignment of the shaft here is wrong to the case. So I tried the other cover on Fred's cover, and his was covered the same thing. It was another Mid USA cover, and it had the same identical problem. It didn't want to go on. So the Mid USA cover fit. So that came out of this new box over here. So this one is made in Taiwan also, so they're both made in Taiwan, but obviously a different supplier, but I don't know what the problem is. I've had this problem when I change out bushings too. The last motor did had the same problem. So it's definitely an alignment issue. I'm going to have to come up with a way of doing some alignment stuff here. It's uh, obviously it's pushing the crank up and causing it to bind up, because right now this is turning over fairly nicely, so this obviously is not the problem that we had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this cover up. We'll just use this one. So this one here is a little bit more rougher looking than this other one, but oh well. At least it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up all the in plays on this one because it's gonna be a little different, and we'll see what we got. I don't think it's gonna be that much different. The breather seems to be the same clearance, so I'll try the same uh, shim or I'll drop five off the shim on the cam. I'll probably just put it in and see how it works the way it is. But, uh, anyway, we'll come back and uh, show what it looks like after I get together here. Okay, I got the cam cover on here now. So everything's up on there pretty nicely. Just bolt slightly shorter, but took the full length in here. A little bit different on how the cam covers are made. So that's how you can identify one from the other. The Mini USA cover doesn't have that cut down like that. Other than that, they look pretty similar. So this one here, this one 
have a pipe plug up in here instead of a brass plug too. Anyway, after it's all bolted together, we got the cam in here now. It was the same in play. There's only about three tile difference. I left it left it in there. So now so the motor turns over nice and free like it's supposed to. The flywheel action now works. More or less. So spins both ways. There you go. Looks a lot freer. That's normal tension. So that was the whole problem with the pinion shaft bushing alignment down here. The offset is wrong. It's in the wrong location relative to where the crankshaft wanted to be. So my guess is that's probably a dowel pin deal. And dowel pins are not in the same relationship to crank center lines it should be. That'd be my guess. But Either way, there's something wrong with those covers. I got two of them like that. Neither one of them seem to be working running on this motor. We'll see how Fred's motor go. He's got the same cam cover. So anyway, for this one here, we went with the Ultima cover. It's working. So <clears throat> so much for cheap parts, they work better. So anyway, there we go. It's all working. So that's all that matters. Spins over nice and freely. So I'm happy. Now I can go home. So there we go.